Hey everybody, and welcome back to Show Plays Seduce Me, the Otome. Um, I pressed a button, but it's only... I mean, I already read the last line in the last episode. But yeah, I didn't mean to press a button, and I'm not used to these, so I don't even know if there's a back button. Anyway... H huh? Who the heck are these guys? Why are they here? What's going on? Some of them had open wounds. The blood was staining the floor and the scent was intermingling with the air. Ugh. Couldn't help but feel bad for them instinctively. But nevertheless, I was shocked and a bit angry at the sudden intrusion. My mind suddenly went from caring and concerned to confused and demanding answers. I, I would be too. Yeah, why are they in here? And who are they? You said they, right? Who are you guys? No response. Ooh, poke him with a stick. I'll call the police. Still nothing. None of them seem to be awake to answer or respond to me. It seems surreal to have random strangers in the house I just moved into. But I wanted answers. Quickly. That was until... Eh, get away from me. Woman, you're going to let me kiss you. Um, you didn't ask. You're just demanding and... No. No. I couldn't believe it myself, but within a mere blink of the eye, one of the men went from lying on the floor to being right in front of my face. What was even more odd was the fact that I felt serene, calm about it. No, 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 bad. Slowly, a desire burned from my chest, telling me to accept his kiss, even when my mind vehemently refused. No, refuse more! Push him! Uh, go ahead? She says, for some reason. Good. Okay. Mm. Gross. As he kissed me, I could feel my body go weak. I didn't know why, but that kiss was draining me of my energy, and yet it was so good and made my heart sing. It was a strange and tingling feeling that danced over every nerve on my body. I could feel streams of intangible energy running up my body and into my lips. It felt odd, but at the same time, it felt amazing. Sam, stop it. Ugh. Mm? Uh. The person kissing me, Sam was his name, glanced behind him. I said stop. Now. Mm. Fine. I'm concerned, confused, and scared. Finally, he pulled back, and I was left standing there in a daze. Uh huh? I couldn't tell what was going on. My mind was completely enwrapped by the kiss in my thoughts that melted into the depths of my forgotten memories. Please forgive my brother. He's a bit reckless. I don't know who you are. At least I feel a hell of a lot better than you right now. And I'm not sure how to respond. Run? Because you used your abilities on her. What abilities? Sam, you're such a reckless brute. Taking advantage of a beautiful young woman like her. Shut that pretty boy mouth of yours before I rip it off your pretty boy face. Oh, good, fighting. Just, just what I wanted. Sheesh, you guys. Can we not fight right now? Not all of us are in the best state. Yeah, fighting is... No, fighting is good. Get out of my house. I guess you are right, Matthew. Seriously, get out of my house. I agree. Yes, good, you agree. Get out of my house. Hmm. I think she should call the police. However, as the men got up and started to chat freely, my thoughts began to reassemble, and I remembered my confusion and anger once again, only now multiplied tenfold. Uh, what? Huh? Did you say something beautiful? And I exploded. What is going on? Why the hell are you in my house? Why are you all wounded? Why did you kiss me? Who are you guys? I couldn't help exploding, but after being taken advantage of and being left in a mush state, my words escaped without filter. I definitely scared the men around me, even the man who kissed me. Wait a second, the guy who kissed me? Ouch! What's your problem? What's your problem? You can't just go around forcing people to kiss you like that. Are you some kind of pervert? Pervert! It was only a kiss! 
You did kind of give him permission, although it was probably mind control or something. It might mean nothing to you, but it means a lot to me. What? Was it your first kiss? It probably was. Ow! Hey! What was that for? I know first kisses aren't exactly amazing and full of sparkles and something out of a fairy tale, but I had at least expected it to be more than just something forced. So it was your first kiss. Stop making such a big deal out of it. Are you asking to get punched again? Well, what do you want me to do? It's not like I can somehow take it back. <gasps> oh, do you have a time machine? Use that. That would be awesome. Um... And, uh, dang it, I don't know. Hit him again. How? You're just being violent now! <laughs> you deserved it. Anyway, if you try to pull any funny business in the future, just a fair warning, I know Taekwondo. Uh, you know, Tamantha, I'm sorry to say, but Taekwondo isn't actually real karate. It's just dancing, but with punches. I took Taekwondo, too. It was really fun, but it's not fighting. I think I've bickered enough. Time to get back to the main issue. So, what exactly are all of you doing in my house? <sighs> Miss, please forgive us in our intrusion. We didn't know this abode belonged to anyone, nor did we have the time to take that into consideration. Okay, but why are you here? What? What do you mean? You don't just barge into people's homes. We wouldn't have had to if we weren't as wounded as we are currently. We just escaped from a deadly fight that could have ended our lives. Well, that a sort of answers something. Luckily for us, your home was near and the windows were unlocked, so we quickly came inside. Who leaves their windows unlocked? I mean, I'm on the second floor and I lock my window. The last time I remembered, there were laws preventing strangers from stepping onto private property. Although, considering the severity of their wounds, it had to be serious. I guess that explains the wounds, but not why he kissed me. He had absolutely no right to do that. Well, lovely flustered lady, it's hard to explain, truly. We're not exactly normal. So you're just wandering perverts who are injured? Not normal. What are you guys, demons or something? I asked almost jokingly, but the boy seemed to take my question differently. <sighs> <laughs> well, yeah, actually, something like that. What do you mean? Huh? <sighs> We're incubi, miss. Demons who consume and use sexual energy of humans to survive. Well, that explains one thing, but get out of my house, you weird crazy cosplayers. Incubi, the fabled demons that existed to haunt humans and make them sex-crazed monsters? The mythical beings that could look like anyone just to get into your pants? The imaginary monsters you only saw in movies or on TV? Are there movies and TV shows with Incubi? Cause I only read about them on Wikipedia. Hello? Did you hear him? We're telling the truth. And how am I supposed to believe that? Do you think she's still processing it? No, maybe. Yeah, she probably is. Yes. And she'll understand right about... Right. It was funny while it lasted, but it's time to cut the joke short. Incubuses don't exist. Uh, the proper pluralization is incubi? There was no way they existed. That would be practically impossible. Ahem. Incubi is the correct plural form. And yes, we do exist. I don't know which one that was. But that's... <laughs> but that's amazing. Prove it. As soon as the words left my mouth, I instantly regretted them. Very well. Eric, go ahead. Which one is that? <laughs> Very well. Hey, weren't you the narrator in the beginning? My sweet, you're so tempting with such non-belief. Let me ease your mind with a tender kiss. I promise, you'll enjoy every minute of it. 
And maybe you'll even want more. Um, get out of my house. What? <clears throat> Once again, I was lost in a pool of calm and serenity. Staring into Eric's eyes, I felt waves of heat course through my chest and onto my face, painting my cheeks red in their wake. I couldn't help but not agree to his offer. I yeah, okay. Mm. Ugh. Gross. Get out of my house. With another kiss, my heart began to flutter once again in my chest, and my mind was sent spinning in a heated, passion-filled pleasure. Yet I could feel my body drain of energy as he kissed me. Alright, that's enough. Ah, Very well. <laughs> I feel so much better. As he pulled away, I was left in a mental mush pool. I felt weak in the knees, despite my will demanding me to stand straight in front of the boys before me. The world around me began to spin as I tried to speak. I think I'm going to... Ah, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers. Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. I don't know which voice goes with which character, so... Be more specific? Miss, are you okay? No, I think you killed her. Shit. She fainted. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Incubi. Real. It all spun around in my head until I saw only black. Floating in the darkness, my mind kept replaying the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch in the Incubi's lips against mine. However, I began to feel the smooth silk around me and my eyelids unwillingly opened. Uh, where... I awoke to find myself in an unfamiliar place. Where was Mom? Dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. It is now. You just inherited a house. Good job. Oh, wait. I lived at my grandfather's house now. Of course it would be unfamiliar. I rubbed my eyes and surveyed my surroundings. I was still in the clothes that I arrived at the house in, but I was laying in a silk-covered bed. I remembered coming in the afternoon, so why was it nighttime already? Suppressing a yawn, I stretched my arms. Maybe I should order some food for delivery. I was feeling pretty hungry. I was about to sit up, but I suddenly realized that I wasn't alone. You're awake. Okay, so portrait, name. I'm not going to remember that. Huh? G Since when was he standing there? Who the heck was he? A guy in my bedroom? Did we? There's no way. Hmm. Sorry, I was saying my thoughts aloud. Why was I apologizing? To a stranger who only said two words since I woke up? Wait, who looked eerily familiar? Then it all came back to me. Incubus. He was an incubus. He and his brothers came here for refuge, and two of them kissed me, and then I fainted. That was how things came to this. Oh! <sighs> he was leaning against the far wall looking at me. My heart began to race as I thought of the endless list of possibilities this situation brought me. I hated the thought of being under an incubus's power, especially in a bedroom. Uh, um... I instantly jumped up and grabbed a pillow, covering myself with it. I felt stupid, yes, but who knew what this guy could do? And if a pillow is even proper protection, you should have grabbed a lamp. Do your worst. This time, I'm prepared. <sighs> he didn't move. I guess that he wasn't going to attack me. Don't drop the pillow. You need it. Or pick up a lamp, a book, anything. <sighs> Sorry. One thing still concerned me, though. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Better not. Huh? How? I can read minds. It's an ability I was born with. Each of us has a different ability, outside of our usual mind-altering powers. Well, can you, like, keep it down and not do that, because that's creepy and I don't like it, and I prefer privacy, thanks. Great. Even more surprises. I grew even more worried about the situation I was in. I see. How long have I been asleep? For a few hours. <laughs> it's already gotten quite dark outside. Go order me a pizza if you're not getting out of my house. Uh, well, where are the others? 
Why are you watching me sleep? You know that's creepy, right? It's creepy. My brothers are downstairs, cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor. <laughs> and making you dinner as an apology. Oh, good. Then you don't need to order a pizza. Thanks. Oh. Okay. That's unexpectedly sweet. Oh, it's the least we can do after invading your home and two of us using our powers on you. I know, right? That was so rude. You've got a point. Right. I had forgotten about that. It still irked me that they had practically taken advantage of me at that point. Even if they were demons, it was pretty rude to demonstrate their powers by kissing me. It wasn't some kind of human plaything. All of this seemed pretty unreal. It was like something out of those romance novels that people sometimes read. I wished I could have just went back to sleep and forgotten all about this. Yeah, but that's another thing that's creepy too. Don't. Stay awake. Maybe I should have just called the police on them. And then I would have never landed myself in this situation. It's not your fault, they're demons. Uh, do you feel well enough to get out of bed? Will there be pizza? I yeah, I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Trust me, I won't let you go. Please do. I prefer standing on the ground and don't touch me. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. I promise. No, seriously, put me down. Uh, okay. I trust you. For some unknown reason, put me down. Good. I was speechless. He was carrying me as if I weighed nothing. He was so strong. Thank you. <laughs> Dang it, I forgot about the mind-reading powers already. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's alright. I'm used to it. Well, you could at least not respond to what I'm thinking. At least then I'll... I can at least forget. I decided to close my mouth for the time being so that I wouldn't weird him out or make things more awkward than they already were. Well, he didn't seem to mind carrying me or listening to me talk, so at least things weren't too strange. Oh no, they're very strange. I want to walk. Damien seemed very quiet and calm about everything, especially with the situation we were in. However, there was a sort of longing in his eyes when he looked at me that wasn't lustful. It was more in... admiration? Once we reached the lobby, I decided that I felt well enough to walk on my own. As strong as he was, it was like he was carrying nothing. I didn't want to make him carry me everywhere. Yeah, that would be mortifying. Thanks for carrying me and all, but I think I can walk by myself. Not that I didn't like it. I mean, I liked it. Not in a weird way, of course. It's not like I get carried around all the time. What I'm trying to say is that it was really nice of you to do that started to fumble over my words again. Real smooth. It's no problem. I'll be heading to the dining room then. All right, see ya. He gently lowered me to the ground before he walked off quietly, disappearing into the shadows of the dark lobby. Oh, hi! Hi! Suddenly, a boy who looked around my age, or possibly younger, bounced up to me. He looked vaguely familiar. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, you're... Matthew, right? How do you remember these things? You must be good with faces, and people, and people must like you. Mm-hmm, that's me. Are you feeling any better now? We were all worried when you suddenly passed out. I'm fine. Really? Your face is kind of red. Do you feel sick? Oh yes, of course, I'm dying. Where's my pizza and get out of my house? No, I'm fine. I'm sure of it. I must have been blushing when Damien was carrying me downstairs. How embarrassing. Well, if you say so. I hope Sam and Eric didn't make you upset. Ah, uh, a few more punches and I'll be fine. It's okay. After all, I did hit Sam after what he did. And about Eric, I just wanted you guys to prove to me what you were saying. Suppose Incubi are real, then? I wondered how exactly I got myself into this mess. First my grandfather, then a fight with my father. Blowing up at Lisette, and now this? I certainly had a knack for getting myself into sticky situations. Getting yourself into these situations? They just kind of sprung up on you. It's okay. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. What kind of idea? He shoved his hands into his pocket with a cheery grin on his face. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm scared. Is he trying to do a magic trick? Ta-da! Oh, it's a... 
Squirrel? Rabbit? I'm not... Does it have a knife? Uh, what is that exactly? He smiled as if to wave it off, but then he opened his eyes and saw what he was holding. His face froze in shock. Wait a second. What did I just make? This... This is... Some sort of squirrel rabbit with a knife. What he produced from his pocket was a creepy-looking doll. Ah, oh, what is that? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh god, it even has an evil laugh. <laughs> That's awesome. His face paled considerably, and he dropped it onto the floor, scooting away from it frantically. Get it away from me! It might be possessed by a demon or something! Uh, dude, you're a demon or something. But isn't he a demon himself? That's not what I wanted to make! I just wanted to surprise you with a stuffed animal or just something to cheer you up. That looks like it came straight out of a horror movie. <laughs> it's kinda cute. He slumped his shoulders and looked down at his feet. Aw, uh, it's okay. You don't have to look so dejected. I mean, it's certainly unique. I think but I'll it keep so it. Creepy. No way, dude. It's cute. It's the thought that counts, right? You wanted to cheer me up, after all. I picked up the doll and looked at it closely. Sure, it looked pretty weird at first, but it could be cute if I looked at it from a certain angle. I gave him a small smile. Thanks. And with that, I'm just gonna end this episode, because there's ju there's just so much, and there's more, so I'll, I'll see you next time.